Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to review and do a wear test on the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now, I saw Tati review this and she fell absolutely in love with it. And I'm hoping I do the same. I mean, I love a full coverage. That's what I look for in my foundations. I'm not, because I mean, I have a little bit more I need to cover up. So I tend to go that route than like something maybe light coverage. I'm going to read about this on the Sephora website. Okay, this retails for $36. It's got 3.7 stars out of 5. So it says, a weightless 24-hour full coverage foundation with oil and shine control that is also waterproof, sweat resistant, and won't look cakey or cause blemishes. And the coverage is full. The finish is matte. It's good for normal, dry, combination, and oily skin types. So the highlighted ingredients say kaolin. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, kaolin clay with bamboo powder. Controls oil and shine. And it's got hyaluronic acid, which nurtures the skin. And then vitamin E, which protects skin against environmental aggressors. I got the shade 1.1. Mm, let's see. 1.1 is fair light with a neutral undertone. So I tend to either go cool or neutral. I don't think I pull off like the yellow undertone. So I always go with neutral or cool, but sometimes cool can be too pink. So this is usually my safest bet. So let's hope this works. So I'm going to prime how I normally prime my face. So I normally start with the MAC strobe cream in gold light and I put that all over my face and then and then I go in with the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. Oh, I'm sorry. Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot. So this stuff is absolutely amazing. It covers my pores so good. I just love it. I definitely need to get the full bottle of this. So, and then I'm gonna do half my face with the sponge, and then I'll do the other half with a brush. This brush is the Morphe M439 uh, foundation brush. So I'm gonna just put it all over my face. I think I'm going to take my rings out for this one. I have this big pimple down here. Oh my god, it hurts so much. I always thought, like, I had acne growing up. And I always thought, oh, when I get older, it's going to be gone. I'm not going to have acne. And I'm 29 and I still get acne. <laughs> so I like that this, um, um... No, not today, girl. Not today. I like that this stroke cream kind of gives you like this dewy, glowy type skin, especially with a matte foundation. All right, then I'm going to take the Dr. Barant primer and I put it like right where my I get big pores. Why am I not looking in a mirror? I'm looking at the computer, but I can't look in a mirror. I'm running out. <laughs> Oops. Too much. Kind of just... I put it there on my chin and right in the middle of my forehead and not a little bit on my nose. It's like my pores are gone. Love it. I don't hear a lot of liquid swishing around in there, so maybe it's a little bit more of a thicker. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. And it says little goes a long way, so I'm gonna just start with maybe this. And I have seen in some videos that this does oxidize, so if you wanna try it out, maybe go um, like a shade lighter. And this thing sets fast, apparently, so we're going to start with one part. Um, 
the face. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge. It feels pretty, like I like the, the feel and texture of the foundation. It feels really soft and like creamy. Doesn't feel heavy. For a little bit thicker of a foundation, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's not covering up over here. For me, I probably need more than just a little dot of foundation. Let me see if I can put a little bit more right here. Put a little bit over here. What the heck, put more up here too. <laughs> Don't I just look like a ghost? <laughs> so that's how it's looking. I mean, it's covering. I mean, I still see some of my stuff peeking through. Not too much. Definitely a good coverage for what feels like such a lightweight foundation on my face. Like, I don't feel like I have really anything on my face right now. So that's a good thing. Why not? I guess I need a lot more than a pump or I don't know, two pumps, I guess. I don't know. I guess it all depends on your face and what you need to cover up and how much you need. Sometimes you need a little bit, sometimes you need a lot. I totally forgot about the nose. How do you forget about the nose, girl? So I have like I guess combo skin so I have dry you know some dry areas but then I do get pretty oily on my forehead and nose right over here and on my chin but I feel like I feel like I like it better with a brush but yeah obviously it's not gonna cover this big honker down here shoot I wish definitely little weird on my nose because I have some dry spots so yeah it is I don't even know sorry I don't even know if you could see how it's looking this is the sponge side and this is the brush side excuse that that's just a visitor it's just someone who decided to show up I can definitely tell that it oxidized a little bit. You may not see it on the camera, or pff, camera, I wish, on the computer. But, or with these lights, because it's pretty right. But it did oxidize just a little bit. That's why we bring it down the neck. With the sponge, I got less coverage. Like, I feel like it took away some of the foundation over here oh, excuse me my voice <clears throat> but the brush side I like it way way better I feel like it looks more airbrushed than the sponge side but yeah it's just not really getting on my nose so if you have dry skin I don't know if this is a good one for you but it feels really good on my skin I have to admit, it does not feel heavy or cakey or anything so, so far. So, And sometimes with foundations, I feel like I'll try them and then I may not like them in the beginning. But then as the day goes on and, you know, your natural oils and stuff peeks through and it kind of makes the foundation look better. So we will see how this turns out throughout the day. I do have my daughter's fundraiser today, so that's why I'm testing this out. And I think hopefully the sun will 
shine through. If you didn't know, this is what it's looking like without... It's just the foundation. I haven't done concealer or anything yet. So... Excuse the pimple down there. But, yeah. So, that's what... It, I tend to get creasage up here with foundations because it's like, oh, that's where it goes and it likes to settle. It's doing it a little bit, but not as much as my other ones. So, yeah. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to show you how everything applied and see how everything looks. All right. See you in a bit. Hi guys, I am back with all my makeup done, and this is what it's looking like. This foundation is definitely matte. I can say that before I put on my products, I could see there was no dewiness or anything like that. It was pretty matte. So this is what it's looking like. It's a little, I'm getting some little dry. It is a little dry on the nose. My forehead looks amazing. It looks so good. It looks like it's not heavy at all. Like feeling on the skin, it does not feel heavy whatsoever. And my products, when I blended them on top of the foundation, beautifully. Totally, 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 totally beautiful. It was silky smooth to just put on my bronzer and blush and highlight and everything. It was great. It was like 8.30. Yeah, 8.30. And right now it's 9.30. And right now it's 9.33. So I've had it on for an hour so far and it's looking pretty good right now. And in another couple hours, I will come back and check in again. And then before I wash off my face, I will come back in for my last check-in and I will review what it looks like on my skin after all these hours. I am excited for this. I really am. I'm going to just go on about my day and I will see you guys in a few hours. All right, guys, it's time for my first check-in. And I am so annoyed with these. Look, at I got boho lips. <laughs> It looks so gross. I'll fix that. But it is 11.44 right now. So I'm looking at the foundation. Um, it looks really, really good. I, I'm impressed. I do, although notice there is some lines from, uh, from my smile lines. It's kind of sinking into those where I like smile and stuff. Duh, that's why they're called smile lines. Really major lines. Um yeah, that's probably the only creasing that I'm getting is right over in here. If you can see it, but otherwise it doesn't look that bad. And I did not spray with a setting spray. I normally use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I didn't use that because I just want to see how the foundation wears without using that. So, but for what? Finished it at 8.30. So it's been three-ish hours. And so far, it's looking good. Just except for that, that creasing in the smile line. So far, so good. I'm giving it a thumbs up right now. Thumbs up. So I will be back probably, you know, after a few more hours from my second check-in. And we'll see how the foundation is looking from there. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you what the foundation looks like in natural light. If you can see it, I hope you can. But looking good. It is 8.29, pretty much 12 hours. So yeah, it's been like 12 hours that I've had my foundation on. And I gotta say, 
it's it looks so good I love this so much but I am super 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 oily but it definitely I don't feel like it hold up to the oil control um, claim but it definitely looks good besides the oiliness it did break off right here in my nose around there like right around my nose here kind of separated um, she looks pretty good forehead yeah it's just kind of like around the nose we get more up close Oop, sorry but so you can see excuse the pimple God, that thing is just like it's like a brought its whole family it's why it's so big but yeah so this is what it looks like after 12 hours very very shiny in my nose so it's kind of separating winter but all in all I love it oh yeah I do want to say that this is one fluid ounce for $36 I would recommend this I like it a lot and I'm definitely gonna be using it again I'll give it a two thumbs up thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I've never tested out a foundation before so this was our first and I gotta say it was a success please like and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to let you know whenever I upload and I will see you guys in my next video bye got 3.7 root uh, stars out of bleh. I shake it up a little bit I don't hear a lot of liquidy inside liquidy <laughs> it's supposed to be raining but ooh, that was a good crack I really like it and I did <laughs> but <sighs> so so the new um